Welcome to CBBT season finale. Season 2 has been amazing and today we have an amazing car that we are reviewing for you. The Mercedes GLE and not any GLE. This is a GLE 63 AMG S. Top of the line. Top of the cream on this particular brand. And of course we're going to give the load on how it looks, how it behaves on the road and of course value for money preposition. But let's start. Let's talk about the design. As you can see this particular design, it looks similar to a brand in Bavaria. I wouldn't mention that name. But you see that sports activity coupe design? It is amazing because it gives this car a sporty look. That's why the market is and everybody's trying to get a piece of that pie. If you look at this particular design, it's true fashion AMG. Look at this bumper. You can see the piano black finish on the grill. And of course, over here, you can see the front air dam has been given that splitter effect, creating a lot of downforce. I know Mercedes have done a lot of wind tunnel testing to ensure this car is stable on the road. And of course, you do have the big Mercedes star shining upon us and this is basically used to give this car presence as you can see both lines and creases on the bonnet gives this car that you know aerodynamic feel and of course the lights quadratic headlamps with led that move when you cut the steering on the left and right they move giving you clear field of vision i can tell you for a fact mercedes has not spared anything to anyone making sure that this particular gla remains top of the cream Come in, come in, step inside this luxurious cabin of this particular Mercedes. I love it because it shows the level of fit and finish, the premiumness that Mercedes have given this car to play in the leagues of the BMW X6, the Porsche Cayenne and many others, the Range Rover Sport. So in terms of quality, you expect German engineering and quality in this particular car. Let's start with the dashboard. Now the dashboard is where everything feels and looks. The touch and feel makes it very premium. The leather stitching on the dashboard plus the veneer wood trim as you can see, it's a real wood, gives this car that feeling that it is, it is bespoke. As you can see here, you have a tablet style uh, infotainment system that houses navigation that works in Kenya, radio and media. When I talk about media, you have USB and Bluetooth connectivity. And again, the sound, you know me, I love sound. I want to show you something. It has a 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound that sounds like this. Can you hear that around? I'm telling you guys, listen. I'm telling you, this is top of the line audio system and when Mercedes puts Hammond card on you know they don't play the information display actually is controlled by this uh, command system it's a rotary command system that allows you to toggle through the different menus by simply rotating the rotor and then once you select you push it down and it gives you the details that you need for this particular car obviously you do have this section here as well it's an extension of the screen so it will tell you all the details that you need it has a telephone you do have radio media and then you can control the sound analogly using this dial and of course you can even press the buttons like a phone and call up and dial up whoever you want and right below it you do have some buttons so these buttons allow you to select some certain functions of the cabin so for example heated seating and cooling is standard in this particular car you do have start stop for that annoying time when you're in traffic the vehicle will switch off to save you fuel and of course you do have park assist which comes as standard in this particular car and right below it you have climate control it's dual zone actually you can control the different temperature settings so the passenger can have their own the driver can have their own and of course the guys at the back as well they do have their own setting at the back so everybody feels very comfortable during long distances in the mercedes gle 63 s amg comfortable you, ha you have uh, multi-way power adjusted seats that uh, allows you to have memory setting and gives you ability to use three drivers to use the same seat we don't know how comfortable this car at the back we're going to ask Merigi to give us a load down on the space on the passenger seat and of course at the rear okay so sitting at the back here it's actually very comfortable this is indeed a mercedes so all of the fabrics that you're touching here are very nice all this leather this dark thing at the top here you still have that open pore wood at the back everything you feel and touch here is really very premium and there's additional space over here with two cup holders they also have two 12 volt sockets if you want to charge your devices let's check into the boot and see what it has in terms of additional productivity so guys, 577 horsepower. So realistically, if you see this on the road in Kenya, this is what you're going to be seeing, the back over here. But first things first, I'm just going to look at the interior. 
we do have a power tailgate that reveals a very deep boot, very wide, but not very tall because this coupe body style actually eats into the space at the back here a bit. But there's still a lot of space here available, including a space saver spare tire, which is the most interesting one I've seen so far. And tie down hooks for your staff, lots of cubby holes in the side and a 12 volt socket. So let's get this on the road and see what the beast has to offer. So guys, we're gonna test the power of this particular GLE 63 AMG. And right now, I have 577 horsepower on my back end call on my right foot. And we're gonna show you how much power and acceleration this car has. So let's go. Three, two, one. Are you ready? And I'm about to fly it. Go! Whoa! <laughs> Listen to the night speed shifting. It's on lightning, dual clutch transmission, pre-select the next gear to ensure that you have maximum acceleration, you have a lot of power on top, and you have a lot of power to take on the forward courtesy of the 9-speed, and of course the formatic to distribute the power to ensure that you have enough grip on any surface. This car is a monster! I'm telling you, if you were to bring your WRX STI or Mitsubishi Evo, ah, <laughs> my friend, it's going to be a long, long day. For your car to be safe on the road, it has a mix of active and passive safety features to protect you and your family from harm's way. So for the active front, you do have electronic stability program, which comes a standard anti-lock braking system. And of course, your cornering braking assist, you do have quite a number of systems in play to ensure that you remain steady on the road. But in case all hell breaks loose, then of course, you can rely on the five-star safety rating of the cabin and of course, multiple airbags that are strewn across the cabin to ensure that you and your family remains out of harm's way. Now, we've done the on-road part, we need to go off-road. So I'm going to hand over to Mr. Murigi, who's going to give us a lowdown on this particular car, off-road prowess. Because remember, it's a coupe, it's a four-drive vehicle, and of course, it must pass the test of driving on a maram or rough surface. So guys, we're doing the unthinkable and we're taking an AMG off the road. But if you're going to take an AMG off the road, this would be a good one to take because this is a GLE. So it actually is based on the GLE SUV. So it can handle a limited amount of off-roading. This doesn't have any specific off-road modes, but you can raise the air suspension to get a little more clearance. Of course, you'd have to have a lot better tires than these road-going tires, but so far it seems to be handling itself very well. This is a tea farm. If you can afford this car, you'll probably want to go and check out the farm, check out the Shamba on the weekend, and you'll be able to do that with this. Speaking of the price, let's go to value for money. It's been a thrill with the GLE 63 AMG S. And I can tell you for a fact, it's worth every penny. I'm telling you, the 5.5 liter V8 twin turbo. Ha! I'm telling you, there is no feeling in this world that can equate the power delivery on this particular car. But before you even go further, Mr. Murigi, who are the key rivals and how much does it cost? Well, the key rival for this is, of course, the thing that started this all, the BMW X6, but the M variant. And Porsche recently came out with the Porsche Cayenne Turbo Coupe variant as well. Now, in terms of price, this is available for 21 million shillings. And remember, DTW also has an offer. The lower spec GLE 400, which is the lower version of this particular car, goes for 12.5 to 13 million depending on how you will haggle just a big boy Trev sent you and of course you'll be able to get the GLE coupe it has a lot of features that this has and of course it comes at a pocket friendly price for those who want to buy sadly guys that's it for cars big boy Trev season 2 it's been an honor thank you so much for supporting us for being there for us all your thoughts questions comments we've been reading them and the support has been amazing from our media partner KTN Home and of course to all our partners including DTW, CMC, Kaitano, Nissan, Jaguar Land Rover, South Africa, name them, Inchcape, 
Thank you for believing in Kazi Big Boy Trip. What do you have in store for season three, Mr. Miller? Well, season three is going to be even bigger and better. We've not been playing since episode one of season one. We've been stepping this up at each available opportunity. And season three is going to be bigger, better, faster, more affordable, more expensive. And it's just going to be very, very good. That's it. Drive safe. Be safe.